Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach who has lost and maintained a 140 pound weight loss and it is Friday, so it is weigh-in day coming off of a really difficult weigh-in last week. I had some epiphanies in last week's video. I actually gained a pound last week. So we're gonna talk about how this week went. Was I back on track? What did the scale say? We're also going to talk about the Weight Watchers workshop topic and we'll set some goals for next week. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I do a weigh-in every Friday and I actually upload five videos every single week. I have a exciting announcement coming your way on Sunday. So turn your bell on so you don't miss Sunday's video. Down in the description box, I will have nutrition coaching. Highly, highly recommend those personalized macros and calories. That again is what I follow to lose and maintain maintain my 140 pound weight loss. And then I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching, questions, accountability, support. I am here to help you. That is all on my nutrition coaching website. It will be at the top of the description box, as well as links and discounts to my favorite things. And come join our free, amazing, supportive Facebook group. We would love to have you. So let's talk about my week, my way in and the Weight Watchers workshop topic. Happy Friday, friends. I hope you had an amazing, amazing week. I had a much better week. I actually had a very active weekend this last weekend. I'll share with you kind of what that looked like. I was able to get myself back on track. I really struggled last week with food, tracking my food. I went a little bit off the rails, so to speak, kind of back to my old habits. And I really wanted to course correct that before it became a major issue for me. And I really was able to make some major progress and getting things back on track this week. And I wanna share with you what the scale said after getting back on track this week. And we're gonna talk about the Weight Watchers workshop topic because it actually pairs beautifully with everything that we've all kind of had going on on our weight loss journey. So first let's talk about my week. So last week's weigh-in, I told you guys that I had not been tracking my food, that I had devoured an entire bag of gummies off of TikTok shop. And I just felt like I was taking some steps backwards kind of like my old self, not necessarily binging, but just not tracking my food, still moving my body, still getting in my workouts, but just not being mindful of my food choices. And, and it's just a slippery slope for me. And I always said that I'm never gonna gain my weight back. And I mean that with every part of my soul. So when I started to have these slip ups last week, I really had to put a stop to that. So I made the commitment to you guys in last Friday's weigh-in video. I'll link it if you missed it so you kind of know what I'm talking about, that I was gonna get back on track. And I did really, really good this week. I actually, like I said, had a very active weekend. Friday, the day that I filmed the video for you guys, I actually went to boot camp that morning, got in an amazing, amazing workout. It was a beautiful sunrise. It just made everything better because it's hot and muggy and buggy here. So having the beautiful sunrise just kind of made that workout better. And then Friday night was actually Julia, our boot camp instructor's 41st birthday party. And we did a super fun 90s theme. I actually bought all the decorations for the party. We dressed up in our favorite 90s attire. And that just really filled my heart with so much joy. Those girls are so amazing. We had such a fun time. So it was really good to have such a great day in general on Friday, that first day kind of getting back on track. Saturday morning, I ran a 5K. It's the Pecan Series here in Sawaida, Arizona, where I live. It's actually a three race series. This was the final of the three races for the year. That was amazing. It was again hot. It was so hot and muggy. I have never been so sweaty in a 5k, but the race was really fun. I finished. I got my shirt. We had a little pancake breakfast, hung out with my good friend Mel. It was just again a soul fulfilling Saturday. And then Sunday, I actually hiked Tumamoc, the big mountain hill in Tucson with my friend Lisa. She's kind of my hiking buddy, my Tumamoc buddy. And again, just filled my soul being with my friends and the people that I love of such a great community here in Arizona. And this weekend just reminded me of that, just how truly lucky I am. So my weekend was not only soul fulfilling, but it was extremely, extremely active. Monday I went to boot camp and by Tuesday, Tuesday's my rest day, I needed it. My poor body was so tired. Actually Monday I took 
two naps. I think I just really overdid it over the weekend. I mean, it was very, very active, very, very active for me. And my body just was telling me, girl, you need to give me a little bit of a break. So Tuesday couldn't have come at a better time. I had a complete rest day on Tuesday, Wednesday through the rest of the week, even today, back at boot camp, back at my normal activity. I also started back to eating the way that I know that I should be eating on Friday. I actually have done really well this week getting back on track. I've tracked my food most of the days this week, which really helps just put things into perspective to actually see what I'm eating versus, and what those macronutrients look like. Am I getting in my protein? Am I eating enough carbs and fats? It was really actually good to get back to regularly tracking. And I just made sure that I gave myself some, some love this last week. I did a couple of face masks. I took some naps. I hung out with little Miss Lola. I just really tried to get back to normal for me this last week. And I feel like I did really, really good. I feel back to my normal self in my health and weight loss journey. I really had to rein things in so that it didn't get out of control, that it didn't become a slippery slope because I am not gaining my weight back. I am not giving up everything I've worked hard for for the last two years. And I'm really proud of myself for nipping it in the bud so quickly. I didn't gain 10, 15, 20 pounds before I nipped it in the bud. I had one week where I started to get on that slippery slope and, and reined it in. And I'm really, really proud of myself for that. It's not too late. Tomorrow is a new day. You can start fresh tomorrow. And that's exactly what I did this week. So like I said, I'm really, really proud of myself. Before I share with you my weigh-in, again, I gained a pound last week. Let's see what happened this week. Let's talk about this week's Weight Watchers Workshop topic, because guess what? It's about tracking. And that's how to build a tracking routine. Like I said, tracking my food has been instrumental in my weight loss. I tracked my food every single day for the majority of my weight loss. Now I don't necessarily track every day, but I'm still very consistent in my tracking. How else do you know what you're eating? And when you see the scale moving in the wrong direction, by tracking your food, you can kind of pinpoint why that might be happening. Let's do a little pop quiz. What are three things you do every day without even thinking? Maybe it's brushing your teeth, doing your skincare, eating your breakfast, making your protein coffee. What are three things that you do daily that you don't even have to think about? Maybe tracking your food should be one of those things that you do without even thinking. Here's some things you can try. Which tracking style makes it feel easier for you? Tracking an entire day's food at once or as you go? Saving often tracked foods and meals or tracking from scratch every time? Tracking before or during or after you eat? What strategies have worked well for you? Maybe you take pictures of your meals to track later. Tracking at certain times of the day, using the barcode scanner, using the quick app, feature to guesstimate points or other tracking options. Using your answers, determine how you will create a tracking routine. I'll track meals and snacks as I go and I'll use the barcode scanner, save favorites and guesstimate points when needed. When is the best time to track? I'll set aside a few minutes after every meal. Now I will typically in the morning track what I know that I'm going to be eating that day. If I know what I'm going to have for breakfast, snacks, lunch, and dinner, I will pre-track that at the beginning of the day. It's kind of like a checking account. If I pre-track those foods I know I'm going to be eating, it comes off of my calories, points, macros of the day, and I kind of know what my balance left over it is for the day in the foods that I don't know that I'm going to be eating. Now, if I derail from what I thought I was going to eat, I just delete and retrack. But I find that if I take a little bit of time first thing in the morning, usually while I'm drinking my protein coffee and track those foods I know I'm eating, it just kind of gets me in the habit of tracking for the day and starts my day off right. But we're all different. So you kind of have to do your tracking based on your personal preference and what really works for you to be consistent. Tracking takes time and effort. And we as humans will always choose the path of least resistance. It's much easier to not track your food than to track it. There's some things you can do, a couple of really good things you can do to get into a habit tracking routine. First of all, set guidelines and reminders. For example, if you track after every meal, open the app as soon as you clear your plate. For all at once trackers, try setting an alarm on your phone to a time that works for you. And forget about perfection. Tracking consistently with fewer details is better than getting burned out trying to log every single bite, ingredient, and exact portion. Guestimate. It is okay to guesstimate. Maybe you go have pizza at a restaurant that isn't in your app. Guestimate. Search pepperoni pizza. Find one that falls kind of in the middle point calorie-wise 
track it. This isn't an exact journey. You're never going to eat exactly the number of calories that you track. There's going to be some variation. It's better to track something than nothing, even if it's not a full day of tracking. Maybe all you get tracked is your breakfast and snacks. Hey, it's better than nothing. It's kind of like moving your body. Moving your body, even if it's a 10 minute walk, is better than not moving your body at all. And that goes for tracking as well. We like to do things that are easy. We like to take the path of least resistance. So if you can narrow your tracking down to a small portion of your day, you're probably going to be more likely to do it. We want to make things easy and routine. It wants to be, we want tracking to become second nature for us, something we don't even have to think about. Let us know down below, what are your tips and tricks for tracking consistently? What do you do? What's your routine for tracking look like? This is such a great topic because like I said, how else do we know what we're eating? How else do we know why we might be seeing the scale move in the wrong direction if we're not tracking what's going into our mouth? So tracking is absolutely essential for weight loss. And like I said, I tracked every day during my entire 140 pound weight loss journey. Speaking of weight loss, let's talk about my weigh in. Last week I gained a pound and in last week's video I said, I don't know that I actually gained a pound of fat. I think part of that gain was a fluctuation. Lola just made a really weird sound. She's dreaming. She went, so I did kind of startled me, but I think she's just immersed in a really good dream back there. So like I said, this week I got back on track. I tracked my food. I moved my body. I made healthier choices. I didn't eat any gummies from TikTok shop. And when I stepped on the scale today, I am actually down point four. So overall, I am still up 0.6 of a pound. And like I said, that's probably truly a weight gain from the week prior, actual true fat gain, weight gain from the week prior. I'm thrilled to be down 0.4 of the one pound. 0.6 is nothing. I'm going to keep on this trajectory of getting back on track, being the healthiest version of myself, tracking my food, making good food choices. And I can guarantee you that I'll be able to get rid of that 0.6 pounds at some point in my maintenance journey. So I'm really happy to be down that point four. I'm even more happy that I was able to get back on track. I got back into, again, tracking my food and just being more mindful of the food that I was consuming. I didn't track it all the week prior. So the fact that I actually tracked most days this week is a huge win. I will go ahead and pop up here on the screen my total weight loss as well as my current weight. And I'm happy with a 0.4 loss. I'm okay with a little bit of a gain. It was very much self-induced. So I'm okay that I'm still up those 0.6 pounds. I'm just proud of myself for not falling off that slippery slope because it's definitely, definitely a slippery slope. And I do not want to get back into old habits and end up gaining the weight back that I worked so hard to lose. It's really just about reining it in when you see yourself falling off the wagon a little bit and tracking your food is definitely, definitely going to help. So again, let us know down below what are some of your tips and tricks for tracking? What app do you use to track? What do you focus on? Let us know down below. And if you enjoyed another weigh-in video, give it a big, huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not. Turn your bell on because I do a weigh-in every Friday. And don't forget, I have an exciting video coming your way on Sunday. I will have nutrition coaching down in the description box. Get your macros and calories done. That is how you know what you should be eating, what you should be tracking to reach your weight loss goals. Even if you do Weight Watchers, you still need to know what calories fats, protein, and carbs you need to be eating every day to reach your goals in a sustainable, healthy way. Also links and discounts to my favorite healthy things. And don't forget to come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Happy, happy Friday, friends. I hope you had an amazing week. I can't wait to hear from you down in the comments and I will see you in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye.